afternoon with Emily Elliott, and uh, she is one of the uh, Century candidates who went through the Palm Springs training, and I'm hoping that she has a couple of insights to share with the rest of us as far as the program and what your first experience was and where it's taken you now. So thank you so much for meeting with us. Yeah, my pleasure. Hope to be here. Yeah, so was it what, three years ago? Yes, 2019. 2019, um, so what do you remember of that and the training and? Yeah, so 2019 was the first year I started writing and found the group rather quickly because I was looking for people to ride with around town and learned about the Century Group. And at the time, 20 miles was like a long ride for me because <laughs> yep, yep. it was brand new. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the idea of a big challenge like the Century was really appealing and I got really comfortable riding with the group and the way that the group operates and keeping everyone safe and together. Um, so I was really excited to join the Century training group. And what really struck me about it was just how easily achievable it is. Uh, the way that it's set up, the way you guys teach us about like nutrition or sleep or how to fix our bikes or whatever we mm -hmm. need to know for ride day. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing that had the biggest impact on me was just by increasing our mileage incrementally week to week it didn't seem like a tall order to do. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But then at the end of it, you're riding 100 miles and it's not hard. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, and when you tell your friends or family you're gonna ride 100 miles, they're like, over five days? And you're like, <laughs> no, all at once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I really liked that, just seeing how it could break down relatively quickly. Yeah. I came from a background in strength sports mm -hmm. and we would also follow very like, linear periodization training programs, but in strength, it takes just like so long to develop it over time that you don't really notice the gains along the way. But with the century group, it was 10 weeks that I went mm -hmm. from like 20 miles is like a long ride to, yeah. you know, doing a hundred miles. Do you mind sharing what your strength training and background is with that? Uh, so, uh, I competed in strongman for like eight years and 2019 was my last year competing. I achieved pro status earlier that year and then went on to win America's Strongest Woman in the lightweight division. Um, then the pandemic happened and I bought a bicycle and I just never looked back. <laughs> oh, what an amazing achievement. I yeah. just like, yeah. And that's the fun part sometimes when you ride with people and you, you don't really know their history or their background and you have amazing, they're all, all the people that we write yeah. with are amazing, but yeah, it's, yeah, awesome. Cycling has been really healthy for me. Like not to say that strength sports were not, but it was very isolating to just always be in the gym with a very small core group of people. And you really have no social life because it's all about train, recover, eat, and you're eating a very specialized diet. And with biking, I was just like, wow, this is so nice. I'm outside and like, yeah just like exponentially expanding my social circle. Mm -hmm. So it's been a really healthy and happy transition. Awesome. Now you rode last year, right? I did. Century? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I had a lot of fun. Like now riding a century is just like no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Um, because you guys have kind of shown me the way of just like how to build it up. So if there's a big ride that I want to achieve or work on, like I kind of know what to do. Like you not only got us to be able to ride a century, but showed us how we can train ourselves to do it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So tell me about your newest adventure that you alluded to. So I think probably because I've had the encouragement to do hard things on the bicycle, I've just kept going with it mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. turned my attention to like ultra endurance racing, uh, like mountain bike, bike pack racing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like multiple day races. And yeah. I got my first experience with that uh, earlier this year on the Stagecoach 400 route. Oh, wow. It's a it's a, a loop route that starts and ends in Idlewild, goes all the way out to the coast in Del Mar, all the oh. way down to like Chula Vista and then back inland over the Cuyamacas down into the desert of like Ocotillo and Borrego Springs and then mm -hmm all the way back up to Idlewild. Wow. Yeah, and uh, it was hard, <laughs> but it's also, I don't, 
it was also really fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those yeah. things that like you look back on, and you're like, that was cool. But in the moment, like maybe it wasn't <laughs> that cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I, I achieved my goal. I think I got like 82 hours and I think 86 was like what I had planned for my goal. Wow. Um, a, a lady had set a new fastest known time on the course this year of 48 hours. So there's like huge room for improvement. Wow. Yeah. So, wow. Um, working with a local coach now, um, Big Wheel Coaching, Joy McCulloch, oh. uh, to help me get yeah. ready for Stagecoach 400 yeah. this coming year. Yeah. Yeah, I've known Joy, Joy and Brian for a long time. Amazing people. So exciting. So when is the next event? March. And it is? Which event is Oh, it? the Stagecoach 400 oh, again. Okay. okay. Yeah, in March. But wow. I do a lot of my own bike packing now. Mm -hmm. So just over Thanksgiving weekend, we rode our bikes from Redlands over Big Bear down into Pioneer Town and then back over Big Bear back to Redlands in three days. Wow. It was like distance wise, not too bad, about 140 miles, mm -hmm. but it was 18,000 feet of climbing. So I think our average speed was around seven miles an hour. <laughs> so it's definitely a lot different than road cycling. Yeah. 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 But it's been fun. And now I've also organized my own event. Uh, it's called the Ranchita Rambler. Mm. And it's down in Ranchita, California. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of an introduction to bikepacking. Like now riders still need to have a pretty good level of fitness mm -hmm. and have good bike handling skills because there is some like technical areas of the trail, <laughs> but it's just 60 miles. So it's very yeah. easily doable on a weekend. Um, and it's primarily kind of downhill from the high plateau down to the desert day one. Uh -huh. And then there's a state campground at the bottom with water and toilets and showers. So it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then we ride back up to Ranchita the second day. We did a grand depart earlier this month in November and we had 30 riders come out. Wow. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, everybody made it. Good, good. <laughs> Some people didn't really listen to the advice of bring the biggest tire you can bring because mm -hmm. there's a lot of sand and we had some folks on basically road bikes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they had to walk. Yeah. <laughs> a yeah. Bit. It's a humbling experience, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, so it gives me a lot of appreciation for you guys because you are very good at laying out all the information and what we need to know. Um, and then just trusting that we're going to follow it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Only if you want to get there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, the water bottle group's just been, I guess, like the gateway club for me. And kind of just showed, helped show me like what I can do. Awesome. Yeah. Gosh, thank you so much for your time. Anything else you'd want to share with them? I mean, I, this is the group that I recommend to people when they move to town and they say, I want to ride with folks and, you know, I want to learn my way around like this. There's lots of people out here to ride with, but I really mm -hmm. appreciate how safe the water bottle group is. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't know, it's just, it's, it can be scary to ride on the road. And mm -hmm. I feel like if you're going to, this is the group to do it with. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And best of luck in March. <laughs> and then we will see you. Yeah, we'll be out there. Actually, yeah. I'll be here tomorrow to awesome. train with you guys. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.